And where do I start? She screen here with your spoiler review yes we skipped the in theater review the spoiler review of shazam 2 i should be a rapper right i think i should Ooh, okay. was it good the answer to that question is i don't know i think before you start with before you start to answer that question you have to ask is this movie better than the first movie the answer to that is, I don't know, because Tonight! I'm still conflicted. I realize that James Gunn is going to possibly undo this movie. <laughs> it was, it's funny, the characters are set up there. There's even a place to put this in James Gunn's universe. But then I think about it and I'm like, no, James Gunn should probably wipe this out. I don't know what's going on in the DCU or the DCEU. It just doesn't make sense. You come out having way more questions than you have answers. And that's, that's a big problem. The story, if it would have been completely self-contained and just flat out goofy, and we decided, hey, we're going to be a family-friendly movie, then great. This would have really worked. Um, Megan Good's character gets a lot more to do. It, it, she's important to the story this time. And that was such a good choice because her character is really, really strong um, from the standpoint of the story. I think that somehow it would tie to The Flash or Aquaman. It doesn't. Um, it ties into Peacemaker. And I'm like... Wait, what? Peacemaker, why? There's two MacGuffins in this movie. And that kind of leads to, again, disjointedness. Because it's like, hey, get the magic wand thing. That's what kind of opened everything up. Then they go to like a golden apple. And it's like, no, now we got to get the golden apple. It's like, what are we doing? What's the point? What are we trying to get to? Oh, wait, now there's a dragon. It's just all over the place. That's really the problem. Very, <sighs> yeah, almost had me. Until I realized James Gunn was coming. James Gunn was coming for these movies.